Below in the deep there's adventure and danger. That's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he sees are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. Old Skipper has shuttered the porthole in time. The Baron and Trigger are foiled in their crime. We know they never contented will be until they've defeated our friends of the sea. That old Skipper is crazy. He thinks it is raining. Slammed the porthole right in my face. You didn't hurt for I told you to call me Baron before. Okay, Baron before. Uh, what do we do now? We will wait our chance. When that crazy skipper thinks it has stopped raining, he will come out. And we go in. Oh, hello. That little talking fish again, I think. Do you really talk? <laughs> I knew it was impossible. Fish don't talk. When they sent me through diving school, they warned me that the pressure under the sea would have strange effects. You can talk. But not with a gold coin in my mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I've dropped it. Here, I'll help you. I'll get it for you. You're quite nice for a monster. A very polite monster. I, I'm not a monster. This suit I wear seems strange to you, I guess. Strange? I'll say. You have no gills, no scales, no no tail. I guess if we saw you without that strange suit, you wouldn't be so peculiar. Well, I hope so. But I can't get over the fact that you talk. Huh? <laughs> well, little fish, the world is full of surprises. Excuse us, please. We have to take our gold to the mermaid. Mermaid? Is there really a mermaid? We think so. When we're not really sure of something, we ask Miss Minerva. Then please ask her. I just can't believe it. Talking fish, a mermaid. Uh, but who is Miss Minerva? Oh, she's the mermaid. Oh, oh, I, I see. Well, we have to hurry now. Uh, please wait. Uh, those gold pieces. Do they mean anything to you? Oh, they're tremendously valuable. And very valuable. Yes, I agree. Well, don't worry, I won't take them from you. Oh, you can take all you want. Goldie is such a little fish. Two or three will last a long, long time. You're sure there's plenty? Oh, Skipper Kipper says his ship is full of them. We must go now. Goldie's life hangs in the balance. If you'll go to see Skipper Kipper, Mr. Diver, he'll surely let you have some gold. The ship is over that away, Mr. Diver. Let's hurry, Georgie. See you later, Mr. Diver. There must be a very good reason why that diver is after Skipper Kipper's gold. These foolish fish don't understand. Uh, yeah, boss, I understand, but uh, what do I want with gold? Uh, I ain't sick. You will be if you don't shut up. For anyone of average intelligence, which of course excludes you, the diver's interest in the gold means that it is valuable. If it is valuable to him, then it is also valuable to me. Now, do you understand? Uh, yeah, boss. Call me Baron Stupid. Uh, yeah, boss. I be Baron Stupid. Now we shall wait our chance. The old skipper will go out for his daily exercise. Then we can slink into the hold and line our pockets after he has left the ship. Uh, what slink, boss? It means to sneak quietly. Uh, can I slink now, boss? No, not now, you ignoramus. Well, this little squall should blow over after a bit. Then I can take my daily exercise. <laughs> well, clip my dorsal fin and call me flat up. What manner of monster are you? Are you friend or foe? <laughs> I, I may look like one, but I'm no monster. 
I am a professional deep sea diver and I'm very definitely your friend. Well now, uh, that being the case, uh, welcome, Mr. Diver. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm, uh, I'm surprised to find you can talk. Well, Skipper, I'm working for a scientific expedition to study the sea. We're running out of money, and the job is only half finished. An old Spanish treasure ship loaded with gold bullion and coins is supposed to have been wrecked around here. The captain has told me to search for it. If I'm not mistaken, this may very well be the ship. You mean it, this, uh, this yellow metal fluttering up my ship is of value to you? It may be very valuable indeed, Skipper. Well, then, uh, take it with my compliments. <laughs> this stuff just gets in my way. Well, thank you very much, Skipper. First, I'd like just two or three coins to take topside so they can be studied by our scientists. Go ahead, my boy. Me help yourself. Diver Dan and Old Skipper have met in the sea. Old Skipper now knows what a fine friend is he. Dan tells him the value and worth of his gold as Skipper invites him to take coins from the hold. He moves among creatures of frightening features, flashing teeth, flashing jaws, clapping, and snapping claws. He protects and he saves his friends under the waves. That's where you'll find Diver Dan.